Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, how is everyone doing today? Welcome to today's session of Lead Sites Live. We're going to be talking about SEO today. Um, that stands for Search Engine Optimization. If you guys aren't familiar with it, um, as always, you can chat in your questions on the right hand side. Boom, right there. You should be able to see it just fine. Um, and today's session is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to highlight just some really fabulous things that uh, a client of ours um, is doing in the El Dorado Hills area uh, in California, which I think is a good example of a way that you can take, you know, our current situation with COVID-19, which in many ways is absolutely very tragic and, you know, um, you know, a, a huge problem that the, the nation is facing as a whole, but they have done, this client, I mean, has done a a really great job of providing a community resource to their community and um, really making sure that folks know that, you know, they are taking care of them and that they are, you know, really looking out for them. So, um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. And so I have their website pulled up here. Uh, we are looking at Eldorado Hills Real Estate Agent uh, This is a, a client that has been with us for some time. Um, they do really great numbers uh, in terms of search results uh, when we're looking at um, in particular, uh, search results related to El Dorado Hills and things along those lines. But I just uh, had noticed something on their site and I just kind of wanted to uh, demonstrate it to you guys uh, just kind of as a good example of, you know, just like a, a way that you can, you know, kind of do some good and make a little bit of a change right now during this time. So um, you're going to notice kind of off the bat that the website, uh, you know, is all about El Dorado Hills. we got that video template. That's really great. Same one that's on Karen Carr's site. Um, but up here, they've changed one of their calls to action to this. So it's El Dorado Hills Coronavirus Info and Resources. So let's go ahead and click there. And what we are looking at here is a page. El Dorado Hill, you're going to see the URL is El Dorado Hills Coronavirus COVID-19 Information and Resources. So already right there, that's a pretty keyword jam-packed URL. Um, as you guys know, there is a lot of really localized uh, changes day to day when it comes to um, you know the situation uh, for coronavirus and you know what's happening. You know things that are happening uh, here in New Mexico much different than in Arkansas, much different than in New York City. So what's really you know kind of key about this is that you know um, this really kind of goes hand in hand with what we really promote to our agents in the content that they provide to their community. So it's like, you wanna be a community resource. You wanna be the kind of person um, that somebody has name recognition for that they say, okay, El Dorado Hills, the Yafis really know what they're talking about. And a good way to do that and just kind of engender some goodwill is to just kind of make a community resource page like this. So, you know, we've got the El Dorado Hills coronavirus, COVID-19 information and resources. Um, so he immediately has a link out to, um, you know, down to here with, uh, this is an updated, uh, graphic that he has county dashboard dated April 18th, or I'm sorry, April 7th. Um, and that's just kind of an anchor link is what he's using for that. Uh, you know, you have the, um, recent CDC recommendation here for face co coverings. Um, he has information here about uh, community health centers offering televisits and drive-through screening, and then just lots of quick links. So as you can see here, he's got just links to current status and important updates, El Dorado Hills resources, what should you do if you think you're sick, et cetera, et cetera. These are all anchor links. So I don't know if you can see the uh, bottom left-hand corner of my page, but what this is linking to is a uh, hashtag if you're sick. And when you click on that, it just is going down here to another graphic. And then this looks like he's just pulling this from CDPH, uh, California Department of Public Health. So, you know, there's a lot of really good info on this page about um, the current crisis. So, you know, right off the bat, we're seeing that, you know, he's got links out to, you know, what you should do if you're a senior, what do you do if you think you're sick, um, status updates right here as well. Um, you know, it's a really, really good resource. But as you can see here, he's got a lot of links. So you can see that he's linking out to a source on each one. All California state parks uh, closed to vehicle access. Um, you know, the 
uh, information about um, you know, violations of stay at home orders. Every single one of these bullet points has a source. So those are links. And when we're talking about um, you know, kind of growing a page's SEO rank and you know, um, its status as a resource, that's a good thing to be doing. So you, know, you can see that the Yappies have been working on this. You know, California, of course, has kind of been a little bit ahead of things in terms of their stay at home orders and things like that. So I'm sure the Yappies were probably looking at you know, much early in March that they were like, hey, we're gonna have to stay home. We can't be doing showings. How can we you know, make sure that we are at least getting traffic to our site during this time? And they've just made this really great resource. So, you know, this is kind of cool. Is someone in your home a household high risk for coronavirus? Maybe you have some immunocompromised folks or somebody that's a little bit older, somebody that it would be very bad if they got sick. They kind of just give you this printable sign. Um, I think that's pretty great. And then as you scroll down the page, there are just so much more here. And uh, what do you need to know about, this? Um, you know, home, hand washing? Uh, this has been built out um, you know, kind of over the course of time. So this is kind of cool. This children's activities and educational links, um, you know, different things that you can do because I'm sure you guys are stuck at home with your kids as well. Uh, you know, links to El Dorado Hills restaurants with curbside pickup. I think that this is one of the best ones that you can do. Um, if you have a, uh, you know, a specific, um, you know, list of restaurants or something like that, just kind of, or, you know, restaurants that you know that are still working, write a blog post about them, link out to their websites, let them know that you wrote about them. They might you know, share your blog post on their social media. Definitely, definitely a good idea. So this is like really just, and then he's got this cool, I think this is really great. He's got a glossary at the bottom here. This is honestly like such a great localized resource because people are gonna be searching this. Um, people are gonna be looking for El Dorado Hills coronavirus. People are going to be searching for Rio Rancho coronavirus, um, you know, and then this is just a free resource that is providing out to folks that is just, I think, absolutely phenomenal. So I would encourage you guys out there, if you are, have more time at home, then you really know what to do with, you can't you do your showings, you're not doing your walkthroughs, um, start a page like this and just get a little bit of info on it. And what's cool about it too, is that, you know, if like you look at CNN, it's completely broad stroke national news. I am sure, I am almost positive that within your particular areas, you guys have some stuff going on that is unique to your area. Um, you know, folks in California, uh, you guys might have, um, you know, El Dorado Hills in particular, I'm not sure if it's anywhere near it, but um, one thing that came to mind when I was talking to an agent earlier today, um, the Pacific Crest Trail. You guys might know what the Pacific Crest Trail is. It is a hike that goes from Mexico to Canada, goes through uh, California, um, Oregon, and Washington. And they live in a town that is very close to the Pacific Crest Trail. Now, typically, they would have a lot of visitors. This would be a very big kind of tourist time. They'd have folks coming through, hitting the stores. These people that are through hikers, as they're called, that are you know hiking this trail. They get off trail, they get resupplied in the town, they get back on trail. Um, that is technically uh, a violation of the stay at home order. So like the, this particular agent was like, hey, what can I do to get a resource page together for Airbnbs, businesses, small business owners that kind of rely on this little uh, economic boom during the summers, um, you know, for these hikers that aren't coming through, you know, just a good way of thinking about your community for things. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pop the link in for this in our chat here. Um, it is just an absolutely fabulous resource. And I just think that you guys should definitely check it out and, you know, kind of take it to heart. Um, so, so yeah, so that's what I would recommend doing, you know, from an SEO standpoint. And then, I mean, you know, the office did not just, you know, uh, create this page, you know, out of nowhere, this has been maintained and added to over time. You know, we've been, you know, within at least a month, perhaps longer for some areas. Um, so they've been just kind of adding this, um, you know, at a lot of time. So, and then this is really great too. You know, um, right here, they just dropped their cell phone number. Um, just a fabulous, uh, you know, kind of resource for folks. And then I also just wanted to show um, off the Yappies blog as well. Oh, and I did, oh, I see that we have a question here. So what's the best bang for my buck to target investor buyers, Facebook and Instagram ads? Yeah, so Jack uh, responded, Facebook and Instagram have worked very well for me. Um, so posting in, in Facebook groups too. Great, great suggestion, Jack. Um, yeah, Anthony, I would recommend that if you are gonna be running ads of some kind uh, for investors or buyers, 
maybe break those into two types of ads. Um, you could have an ad that targets investors and an ad that targets buyers. So like first time home buyers, people that are looking to own a home. And then you can also have an ad that targets, you know, folks that are more interested in the, you know, financial investment angle of things. Um, in my mind, those are two different audiences. Um, although I'm sure there's a ton of overlap there. Um, Facebook and Instagram are absolutely um, easy to run. Uh, Instagram ads uh, in particular can just be kind of tied very quite neatly to a Facebook app. Um, so that's always a good idea. And uh, Jack mentions posting in Facebook groups. That is always a good idea. So, uh, you know, your particular area that you might be looking for buyers in has got to have a couple dozen, if not more, like, um, you know, uh, yard work trade groups is some things that I see sometimes where people are like loaning out lawnmowers and things like that, or, you know, Facebook groups that are about a particular neighborhood or area. Just find those on Facebook and just post your info, um, post your offer, post your ad. And then uh, this other thing that I just wanted to show here um, is just a, a really effective and fabulous way that the Yafis are using the real estate block from an SEO standpoint. So, um, you know, as you guys know, we put your, um, you know, your information, or we put two blog posts a week on your website. The thing that we don't do is we don't necessarily have um, you know, very localized info attached to it. It's just kind of general North American information. So what the Yafis do is they go through every blog post here. I'm just going to kind of bang a couple out, Serrano Hills. And you can see that they've added El Dorado Hills, Serrano Home, uh, Serrano Home, El Dorado Hills, El Dorado Hills. So they are putting keywords within the content of the actual article itself. So um, this is really great. So let's go ahead and here. I'm just going to search for El Dorado. And we've got at least 10 instances of El Dorado Hills on the actual uh, page itself and within the content. Um, so they, they are basically just taking the blog posts that we're pushing out and they are just adding El Dorado Hills in to the, um, the, uh, the actual um, you know, kind of text of the actual search itself. In addition to that, they're just kind of posting these kind of link clouds at the bottom of each one, where they just have these broken out into different what we call Instafarm pages, which are always good. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend, uh, you know, kind of taking this um, as an example of something that's good to do. Same thing with this one, your Serrano home. It might look a little funky when you kind of read it. Let's get that Serrano home wallpaper removed. But if somebody is searching Serrano homes for sale or Serrano homes or, you know, wallpaper Serrano, California, something like that, maybe they're looking for a wallpaper store or I don't know, somebody did do it. Um, your real estate blog post is going to show up in those search results. And if you get a couple clicks, it's going to turn into more and so on and so forth. So always a good idea uh, to be, you know, kind of popping in those, um, those links and stuff like that. So, but yeah, that, that was basically what I wanted to show you guys is that really fabulous page that um, the Yafis have created. Again, I sent a link out there and popped it in. Um, you know, they have a, you know, maintaining and keeping something like this, I think is a really great idea and a really, really good thing that you can do for your community. Um, and then you can just ship it out there, get it in front of as many people, people as possible on Facebook. Um, don't run an ad to it. Just keep it kind of wide open. And uh, yeah, I think that it is a good way to not only provide a community resource, but to also, um, you know, capitalize a little bit on the time that people are now being forced to spend inside from their computers. So thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Um, that is going to be it for today. Please let us know if you have any questions. You can reach me at chris at easyagentpro.com and hopefully we will be talking to you soon. Take care.